Kiki Art Nerds. Today we are taking a look at the Shizen professional grade watercolor paper in both hot press and in cold press. Both are internally and externally sized. Both packets contain 50 sheets. One of them has 300 pound paper and the, uh, well it says actually both of them have 300 pound paper. So, and they are both 5x7. This is the cold press, as you can see, it's got quite a texture. It's also twice as thick as the hot press. And we're gonna try these out today. I purchased these at David's Art Supply in Metairie, Louisiana. So if you're a fellow Louisianian, make sure you swing on by and check them out. They're a wonderful little locally owned art store that could definitely use your support. We're gonna start off with the cold press smooth watercolor paper gonna go ahead and open it. This is cotton rag paper and you guys have seen me use Shizen paper on the channel in the past I believe. This is one of the more easy to handle formats and I was going to paint or I'm going to paint some of the beautiful botanicals that I saw a while at Cheekwood today. So the packaging is pretty minimal. I don't yet know if these are going to need this is the hot press so even the hot press has kind of a texture to it so I guess we're starting with the hot press and it looks like it's been trimmed by a machine rather the hand rather than the hand torn appearance that she's in often comes with and this is cotton rag paper so I am not going to stretch this I'm not even going to adhere this to my work surface we want to see how much it's going to buckle but I am going to sketch one of the beautiful flowers on it and start painting using my core mini palette.
Okay, so this is still drying a bit. I'm not really happy with this painting, but I am actually pretty pleased with how the She's In Hot Press handled. It still has some texture, so if you enjoy a bit of tooth to your watercolor paper, this could be a good hot press for you. It takes pencil well, it takes water well, and it dries to be to workability. So not completely dry, but dry enough that you can put another layer on very quickly. So that is the She's In Hot Press. We're gonna switch on over to actually no we're just going to do another time lapse illustration on the she's in hot press and then we're going to switch on over to the cold press
So this is our next paper. It is the Shizen Cold Press Watercolor Paper. As you guys can see, it has a lot more texture. It's also twice as thick as the hot press paper despite containing as many sheets. And that's because there are more surface irregularities now. The last time I messed with Shizen, the site said that it was entirely a handmade paper. And uh, before I say goodbye to you guys, I will be able to answer as to whether or not that is still true. So this definitely has a lot of texture. Let's compare the two. This is the hot press. This is the cold press. So we have a lot of texture on that paper. So I think I'm going to continue my tests by doing some botanical studies from Cheekwood today. The cold press is still drying, but I think you guys can see some differences in how it handles from the hot press. The hot press feels a little bit thinner. 
it dries a little bit quicker than the hot press I mean the cold press the cold press has lots and lots of texture so you can really sort of take advantage of water puddling water pooling as you guys probably saw me do with the spritzer bottle I would love to explore this paper more I feel like um, since I haven't really been doing a lot of watercolor studies my work is obviously suffering but I look forward to having the chance to practice with this affordable paper and before I say goodbye I'm going to do a comparative swatch off on the two papers using the Daniel Smith ultimate mixing set so at the top we have the hot press at the bottom we have the cold press we are using a somewhat granulating watercolor set and I think this will be a really excellent paper to take advantage of some of Daniel Smith's better qualities dry I just want to share some of my thoughts on the Shizen cold press it handles a lot like the cold press hand torn Shizen that I've previously reviewed there's some buckling but it's not too bad and as you guys saw it dried mostly flat there's lots of color play and movement given the unique deckle texture to the paper so these are mostly dry I think they're dry enough that you can see that on both papers the colors remain fairly bright vibrant they're a bit more vibrant on the cold press paper than on the hot press paper they can get a little bit dull on the hot press paper the cold press paper also really shows off the sedimentation it gives those sediments a place to dip into and we can get some really nice clean color mixes such as the magenta with the um, ultramarine blue. Let me just give you guys a quick comparison. I really liked how it mixed. Wow, that's like a nice true purple. Those can be hard to mix. So you guys can see on the cold press paper, there's just a little bit more room for it to soak into the fibers. I think with the hot press, it's mostly just sitting on the surface. Whereas with the cold press, it's really sinking down into the paper. So a little bit of info about She's in watercolor paper before we leave. I believe I have reviewed it here on this channel. I've certainly worked with it in the past. And if I do have a review, I will link it for you guys. It is handmade from 100% cotton. It's internally and externally sized. It's made in India from recycled materials. And it's available in several sizes as well as several formats like square, rectangle, and round shapes. You can get it from Blick, Cheap Joe's, and Amazon. And if you check the description, 
description below, you will find links to all of those. So, a little while ago, you guys might remember that I reviewed this fluid handmade paper sort of book. It has a very similar paper to the Shizen Cold Press. But I found, and if you watch the video, which you can find right here, I found that as it dried, it would do this sort of white speckling, which was not always something I really wanted. So, in another video, I'm going to try using the Shizen paper in very much this sort of watercolor illustration style where we rely mostly on the marks to create the art, and we'll see if Shizen handles any better. So I want you guys to keep an eye out for that. And speaking of keeping an eye out, never miss a video. Subscribe right now and click the bell notification and it'll let you know when I update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys again really soon. Hope this was helpful, useful, and informative. What's your favorite watercolor paper? Let me know in the comments below. Do you prefer handmade? Do you prefer machine made? What are your favorites? Introduce me to something new and I might review it. Anyway, I'll see you guys again really soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.